Hello class, it's Mr. Ng, and I have a video to show you how to do those uh, pH and pOH calculations. Uh, let's get started. So, uh, let's see. Here, the first question that we have is uh, we want to find the pH when the concentration of uh, nitric acid, this is nitric acid over here, is uh, 0.0034 molar. Well, um, a couple of little background pieces of information. You should know that nitric acid, HNO3, is going to break up. It's into H plus and NO3 minus. And the concentration of this thing, uh, that's what determines the pH. And pH is super easy. Um, pH is basically equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration, right? This H plus concentration is just the molarity of H plus. So all we got to do is something really simple. We just have to do negative log of 0 0.0034. And then when you punch that in, you should get 2.47. That's the pH. Done and done. All right. Uh, this next part asks for the pOH. So if you remember, uh, pH and pOH, they're kind of like on the same scale, right? where pOH and pH, they always add up to 14. So this is seven and seven. If the pOH is zero, the pH will be 14, right? And so here we have like um, eight and six, so on and so forth, right? So we already know that the pH here is 2.47. So the pOH is just 14 minus 2.47, and that is 11.53. Try it out in your calculators. I swear to goodness, that's what it is. All right, uh, let's keep going. Uh, we have another problem. These are probably the ones that you guys have been struggling with where they don't give you the molarity immediately. Instead, they give you grams and then they give you liters. Well, you should know that molarity is equal to moles over liters. So really, all we gotta do is find the moles and then we'll need to find the liters. And then we could find the molarity, which is moles over liters. And in the prior page, I just showed you that if we just do the negative log of that molarity, right, then we will find the pH, All right? Just a couple of steps. Let's go through it real fast. So to do number one, we gotta find the moles of this thing and we uh, we know that we have 25 grams of hydrochloric acid so our given is 25 grams of hcl um, a lot of us already know how to do this so I, i'm not going to slow down here all we got to do is to convert to moles is to use the molar mass so one mole of hcl is equal to 35 uh no 36 0.45 grams of HCl. Um, for those of us uh, wondering how it got that, well, um, H and Cl, this weighs one, this weighs 35.45. This is just, a, this is just a atomic mass. You know, when you look on the bottom of the periodic table, it'll be 35.45 over here. So I got the molar mass. I know it looks like a mess. So um, if you just divide 25 divided by 36.45, you get 0.686 moles of HCl. Done and done. We have one of our things, right? We have 0.686. We just need to find the liters now. Oh, we already have it. 1.5 liters. One, oops, 1.5 liters. So that means the molarity of this thing is, it's going to be 0.686 six moles of H plus, right? Oh, we're just assuming the hydrochloric acid disassociates completely, right? Uh, divided by 1.5 liters. And when we do that, uh, we get uh, a molarity of 0.457 molarity. So to find the pH, we just do negative log of point four five seven and then i get a really small ph this is a point 
three, four pH. You know how usually like even one is super acidic, so uh, less than one, this is a super strong solution of acid, right? Done and done. I hope you guys are getting the hang of it. I hope I'm not going too fast. Um, let's do one more. So it wants the pH of a solution that contains 1.32 grams of nitric acid, right, and uh, 75, uh, 750 mils of water. So again, um, we need the moles, right? Um, we got to find the volume in liters. And then here, uh, if we could find the molarity, that's awesome. Because then all we got to do is do the negative log of that molarity. Oops. Right, and then we can find the pH, right? Just need to do the negative log of that molarity, and pH is our friend. So let's find the moles. 1.32 grams of nitric acid. Nitric acid is HNO3, and it has a molar mass of 63.01 grams. So to find the moles, we start with our given, our given, is 1.32 grams of nitric acid h n o 3 right to get out of grams we divided by grams we divided by the molar mass 63.01 grams of h n o 3 that's one mole right notice how the units cancel out and now we have uh, point zero Two, this is zero, two, zero, nine moles of nitric acid. Great. Now we guys gotta find the volume in liters. Uh, 750 mils is basically 0 0.750.5 0 liters. So the molarity is 0 0.0209 moles of HNO3 divided by 0 0.750 liters, right? We just kind of did this number divided by that number. And so the molarity that I found was 0 0.0279 moles of HNO3. Molarity of H plus again assuming that nitric acid just disassociates completely so to find the pH That's just equal to the negative log of that number up there zero two seven nine I do that and I get a pH of 1.58 Done and done okay, so uh, to review the equation is pretty easy, you're just finding the negative log of that concentration. Once you have the negative log of that concentration, um, you have the pH. So the problem is finding that, that concentration, and to do that, all you do is you find the number of moles, and then you divide it by how many liters there are. I hope that helps, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.